what we're going to do now is properly pinch this over my nose so that it fits and I have a proper seal. And I'm sure that I've got crossing bands. And I'm going to give a good... <sighs> so I've got a good seal. I'm not steaming. I'm very happy about that. Um, once I'm happy that that is on, I'm going to put on my gown. So I'm happy with that. And that's completely covered and it's completely unfolded. And then I'm going to put on my visor. Okay. Slow down for us for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what I would like to check is just get my buddy just to check that I'm okay, that happy. And so now I've got my gown ready to go and my double gloves ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub. So I'm now ready to put on my gown. And uh, we are going to double glove. So I'm happy that I've got a good coverage. Then I will put in my second pair of gloves. And then ensure I use the one above my second. So once I've now done this. Very loosely so that it's not difficult to undo later. Okay. Yeah. So now what I will do is do that. Thank you. Very good to see it, but yeah. not too good. And I am going to check. And my daddy will check. We are happy. Happy? Let's do an operation. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bin and I'm going to remove my outer layer of gloves. So I will do this, side contamination, and I will do it directly into the bin so we don't spread any virus outside of the immediate area. The next thing I will do is I'll ask my buddy to come and give me some gel for the gloves. demonstrate to you how to uh, take off the gown. So I'm going to lean slightly forward so this is loose and off my abdomen. So I'm going to come forward and I'm going to take both the gown, the plastic underneath and the outside of my gown making sure that I've got the corners involved. And I'm going to bend forward creating There's some corners yet. Yeah a rolling pattern and I'm going to gently pull this forward so not to contaminate I'm going to continue to bring this up into a roll once I've done this I can then bring it forward if there is a stretch in the gown and you can't get the plastic off because it won't pull don't keep pulling ask your buddy to come and help you and I'm going to continue rolling. At this stage, being careful, I'm going to come to the bin, open the bin, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whole bundle carefully and directly into the bin, being careful not to touch myself. What I want to do is to try and take the gloves off completely. I can do this like so. And now, of course, I'm still wearing my mask, and the mask needs to be removed. So again, I will gel myself before I do that so any inadvertent contamination is taken care of. And again, being careful because there may well be viral contamination on the mask. So catch the back only behind yeah, your head. I will come behind my head and I will drop this carefully into the bit. I will now re-gel my hands. So after everything we do, we re-gel. And I now need to leave the operating room with a maybe contaminated air outside. When I get outside, it's now safe to remove my mask. So again, I'm going to come forward and I'm going to just drop this. In the, in the bin. And 
in this case, put it in the bin. So after you've completed these steps, what you need to do is go to the nearest sink and wash your hands, or to use further amounts of gel to clean your hands. Thank you. What we then recommend you do is you either shower or you go to the change room and you at least change your scrubs and ideally give your shoes uh, a clean uh, with um, disinfectant.